All right, here we are headed to the lake to drop this Caracal STS, the brand new 2024 Caracal STS 250 Mercury Pro XS on there. Um, gonna be uh, gonna be exciting. I'm curious to see what she's all about, and uh, I'll show you here shortly. All right, so there she is, all wet in the next to the dock. So that's kind of the layout right there. We'll get her all uncovered, we'll get her running, show her what she's all about. I'm gonna go park the truck and I'll be back. All right, so here we are. We're gonna start her up for the first time. You wanna make sure you have her trimmed all the way down. But on the initial break-in, you always wanna make, I like to, to start your engine at a dead idle for at least five minutes. Just let everything lubricate, let all the the whole engine warm up, all that, all that jet before you just go out there and give it 10 seconds and then start running it. This first time this thing's, you know, really been cranked, especially in the water. So gonna give that long period of time and we just put gas in it. Could be some air in the line, but let's uh, see what she sounds like here. Give it, give it a few seconds. You can hear that? That's the fuel pump, oil pump. It's a pump. So we let that go. Now we'll start it. Get that air in the line. See, most people wouldn't show this. That's what happens. You got no, no gas in it. So you got to let it get it primed up. See, that's what it does. It's a little, a little rough. Oh yeah, baby. She'll smooth out. That's why we give her the full five minutes. See, now she's smoothed out. That's that very first time, man. You got to get it. Don't, don't get in a rush. So I'm going to go ahead and take, take my. Get my electronics turned on, the Hummingbird and the Garmin. Get these turned on, get all that. Let that, that big dog, let that big dog warm up, man. I don't need to rush it. But let's look at this ridiculousness up here. Oh my goodness. Woo, look at that big girl right yonder. Wow. I'll cut them on here shortly and uh, We'll show you what that's all about here soon. So stay with me. We're going to run the boat here momentarily. All right. Putting this puppy in gear now. Yeah, this year we changed up and put the Bob's plate on it. Got the Bob's foot throttle in there as well. Uh, that's what I started my career with, the Bob's. And uh, they make very, very solid. It's fast. It's a fast plate too. Look how fast that sucker goes. Yeah. It's quick. We'll start with all the way down, um, but we're going to switch it around here, change of view for you, let you see what she's all about. Well, first impression of uh, the first run, ran for a whole hour, uh, set it down a couple of times and got it back up on plane. And this sucker uh, jumps, it like leaps up on plane. You know, I don't have any tackle in here, uh, but that's kind of, that's kind of different. I've got, you know, the gas is full, but that's, that's it. And I tell you, I've got some learning to do on these, on these garments. The hummingbird I'm pretty familiar with, but these garments are a little bit different than what I've, what I've run in the past. So I'm gonna have some setup there. But as far as the boat's concerned, yeah, that 
that leap i didn't didn't get to mess around with any top end but that the i did a couple donuts and the boat is very um nimble very nimble and it's five inches shorter than the puma sts but that's a pretty big difference right there um in the way i can feel it in the way i can feel it so uh, i'm gonna get to messing around with the trolling motor and uh, check out a few differences before we get to running again okay so now we're up here on the front look at that big boy up there man son we got the move yeah the 52 inch we're gonna put it down oh uh, just take a look at this now we've got it set up here the foot pedal goes under that screen because it's so big i mean come on oh look at that you can see a treetop right there on the on the perspective we've got it on here but we're gonna just pop over here to live scope and there's that treetop that we saw in perspective look at that pretty sweet i've just played with it just a touch just to kind of get it having a decent view i didn't know this tree was here that's pretty pretty slick looks like one right there in the very top that is cool 20 foot right off that mm. mm -hmm. yep so anyway that's uh that's pretty slick i tell you we'll just walk through the boat here i'm going to show you this is the uh, signature Curacao day box. That's going to be slick for putting, you know, the, the baits that I'm going to be fishing with the most. And here's the front box, kind of a big square box. Uh, we'll see what I put in here. Probably mostly hard baits is what I'm guessing up there. Mostly hard baits. And then next to that, we've got the net scabbard. I've just got the covers for the for the units in there. That's probably about all I'll use it for. Maybe a plug knocker. I don't know. I might try to find some other use for it, but it's not, that's one of the only compartments not dry. And then the rod locker, good sized, not monstrous. I mean, monstrous by most boats, but it's good sized, really good size. I think I'll be able to get all the rods I need to in there. And then in this other rod locker, got one stuck in there. The two live scopes mounted on the interior and then as you can see the one of the big things is they went back to the south co the regular latches not the the slam latches um you know I, they took a little bit of adjusting last year i got used to them kind of liked them but here's the middle compartment got a, a box and then the vacuum in there from when i was uh working on the the boat earlier I don't know, probably most of my plastics in there, chatterbaits maybe, stuff like that. And then I like the step. The step is in a good, it's a good height. It's, it's very simple. Might use this as storage instead of using it for the other stuff. But as you can see, you know, you just boom, boom, very easily. Boom, boom. I like it. I like it a lot. And then coming over here to the seats, same under seat storage. Love the big cooler, huge cooler. Got the Kroger bag in there with some waters. And then on the back deck, you can see typical of the Puma STS, big boxes behind the seats. I like those. Put a lot of my terminal tackle right in there. Got a lot of space here. Got my tools in there. And then as you typically, you know, have with that, you know, you got your power pole pumps right there on, on both sides. A helicopter coming overhead, a Magnum PI or somebody. And then the, the live wells, signature Bass Cat live wells. And then as we go back here and look in the back compartment got my big 12 volt lithium pro monster in there that's where the fish lung's going to go you can see all the 
pumps down in the bottom of there. And then the power pole charge is over there. Installed real niftily like on the side. On that little side step, I like that. My tools will probably end up over there in that little side step. Uh, but then there's the, the one big 36 volt. And the unibody for the fish lung will probably go right there. And then there's the, the other gas tank, the two gas tanks, one on each side. See the Bob's plate back there in the back. And the motor with the two eight foot power poles. But that's it right there. As you can see it, that's the, the layout. Uh, we'll go back to running a little bit. I know eventually here we'll get, you'll see the top speed and we'll kind of get to look at it that. But look at all these trees and 25 foot of water now. Hey there, miss. How you doing? That's cool. That's cool. But that's it. I've got my, my display for the move mounted right there. I don't have my buttons mounted just yet, uh, but I'm going to put my, my down button, I believe, right here. And I'm going to put my anchor button, I think, right over there. Because normally I stand like this or like this. And then I'll probably put my up button over here, maybe. Or maybe right there, somewhere like that. Because when I pull my trolling motor up, a lot of times I'm pushing off the bank. It automatically goes back to the that pointed out position um, but normally that's I want my down close because I'm gonna hit it quick and then I like to have my up button over here because a lot of times when I'm pushing off the bank I need to hit up on the power poles boop boop and you can't you don't want to hide it up under there uh, and then I had one other accessory I mentioned I'm gonna get a little uh, bounce buster because with this 52 inch shaft there's just a tick of play you know, when I was bumping some uh, waves, there's just a little bit of play. Uh, so I'm going to eliminate that. There's one company I found. I'll, I'll drop a link down there uh, where I'll do a whole separate social media post about it. But yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be pretty slick. I'm digging it. I'm really, really digging it. Digging the way it's driving so far. Uh, we'll give you another conclusion here in just a few minutes. All right, we got time on her now. Time to let her rip, see what she'll do. I think she's gonna be quick. She's nimble. Let's see. Well, first time I gotta open her up. Uh, Touch 77 a few times, 76 pretty consistent, uh, and you got to drive it. Uh, don't have any tackle in here, but we do have the big graph, 20 pound, one 20 pound graph, and then another 10, 8 pound, 10 pound, whatever that is graph. Uh, so kind of a little bit of weight up there to hold it down, but uh, 77 probably going to be a 75 mile an hour boat with two guys and tackle. That'd be my guess, 74, 75. So she's gonna she's gonna run with a with a tournament load. Um, sits really high on the water. I don't know if you can really see that, but it it sits kind of high, like it's floating high on the water. I like that. I feel like I'm gonna be able to get into some shallow spots. It's a small, nimble boat. It definitely turns easy when you're on the trolling motor. You know, but going around docks, points and stuff. I do like that part of it. The front deck is really wide, which you saw. That's gonna be comfortable and fun and good to fish out of. So I don't, I don't know. I'm really, I'm really digging this Caracal STS so far. This is definitely just the first run, first look, if you will. Uh, but we're gonna get her dialed in. We're gonna have a little more experience. We're gonna put some tackle in this thing. We're gonna get these graphs dialed in. We're gonna put all these accessories on here. 
do all that kind of stuff and then we'll give you a full evaluation and walk through uh, a little bit later but definitely a much different boat than the than the puma sts and very 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 smooth and very nimble i would say that's a little a lot more nimble than the than the uh, puma sts but digging the old caracal sts so far so uh appreciate everybody watching as always drop down there in the comments uh if you won't have any questions or anything like that again this is just my first run but i'll get to know it and get to love it and get to uh tell you more about it here very soon that means it's time to go